So now you might be wondering, how can one blockchain have two different consensus protocols? That doesn't make any sense. Well, that's because Avalanche has three different blockchains that are part of its system. And those three blockchains would be the P chain, the X chain, and the C chain. Now these three chains are completely separated from one another, but they are interoperable with one another. So now I'll explain what each one of the three chains is and how they work. So the first chain that we'll discuss is called the C chain. C being short for contract. That's because this is the chain that has the smart contracts built on it. It's a direct copy of Ethereum's code and it uses the Ethereum virtual machine. This makes it easy for developers to just basically drag and drop their Ethereum applications and bring them over onto Avalanche. In other words, this is the chain that you're gonna do all your DeFi stuff on. If you want to use decentralized exchanges or lending and borrowing apps and all that stuff, that's done on the C chain. Next, we have the P chain, which is short for the platform chain. The P chain is where you are going to do your staking. So if you want to stake and become a validator on the network, or if you want to delegate your AVAX tokens to someone who is a validator, this is where you are going to do that. And then finally, we have the X chain. The X chain is used for what's called atomic swaps. This is the chain that you're gonna use if you want to transfer assets across the other chains. So if you have some funds on the P chain, for example, and you want to move them over to the C chain, the X chain is the chain that handles that. This basically works the same way that a bridge works if you've ever bridged assets from one blockchain to another, except the difference here is that you can actually keep funds on the X chain as well. According to Avalanche, they have done live testing of this network and the X chain can handle up to 4,500 transactions per second. 